Oscar Michaud I met after I had finished my first tour with a professional company called You Can't Take It With You. And during the the summer, we I had free time, and he asked me to, uh, you know, to do some work in his picture in his film, and uh, I so I did. A wonderful man, big. He must have been six two, and big, with a very charming, beautiful wife. They. Um, they were the whole <laughs> package for his film. He, he not only wrote it, but he directed it. His wife and he would then go on a, a trip all through the East and the South and uh, sell it. So they were, they were quite, quite, quite a combination, very novel and different, you know. I was living in New York and married, and my husband said, Fran, I'm going to I want to go to the West Coast, the Hollywood. And he said, if you want to go, you better save your money. <laughs> so it was vacation. So we, I thought, well, I'd like to go. I really didn't know very much about Hollywood, actually. But I came out with him. But when I saw all these bandanas on all these black women in the film, I decided this was not for me. And it took me five years before I could realize that the only way to take care of and correct anything is to get in the middle of it. So then I started working and fighting within the uh, setup. As a matter of fact, we had a caucus of blacks in the Screen Actors Guild hoping to find, uh, find a minorities committee there. And Ronald Reagan was the president of the Screen Actors Guild and dissolved it without even asking us. Oh, I could tell you many upheld struggles in Hollywood. It was not easy, because you'd go on a set and they'd say, could you get me a cook? Or do you know how to find a chauffeur for me? Or a laundress? And you'd look at them and think, damn, you know, they had to go through this all the time. It was very difficult. I do remember Showboat because they wanted me to wear a vest. Every time they had a production of Showboat, the uh, the black woman had always worn bandanas. And uh, I convinced them that I worked in the house inside. I was not in the cotton field. And uh, so I didn't have to worry about cotton getting in my hair. And I had hair. So there was no reason why I could had to, for for wearing a bandana. So I didn't wear one, but <laughs> at intervals, I think I worked on that for oh, thirteen or twenty weeks. And uh, each every at intervals, they would bring these bandanas. Wouldn't you like to wear this? And I'd say no. I think I actually refused seventeen bandanas <laughs> working for. Uh, showboat. During that time we had restrictive covenants when we first moved into it and my husband who was a ceramist we tried to rent a place for him right at the corner of Arlington and Jefferson that was a garage and we could not rent it. We had to get a friend of ours who lived in Hollywood to rent it for us and we'd give her the rent every month and then she would give it to the landlord. But on Sugar Hill they not only were not letting them buy these houses, I mean, it was very difficult, but they were also charging exorbitant prices for them. Each time someone would buy one, you knew they were being extremely exploited. There's very little you could do. Um, I tell you what I did do. Later, when people were going into Lamert Park and that area, when Bradley and all those people were beginning to move there, I had patrolled 24 hours around the clock at this house because they were flooding the basements of homes they were purchasing, throwing in dead rats. They were doing all sorts of everything they could think of doing. And uh, we would send out these men to turn off the waters and, and check the property and see that people could uh, at least save their investment. 
Um, and we did that 24 hours around the clock. It was very difficult when I was here, first here, to do anything in Hollywood. If people saw you at a hotel, they'd say, what are you doing here? Um, they had, for instance, jazz jam sessions in Hollywood, and no blacks could go to them. So Norman Granz and I set up, there were, I had a studio. I worked at Old Spike's studio on Jefferson and Normandy. And every Sunday we set up jam sessions there. And people came from everywhere to see them. When my husband and I first came out to Los Angeles, we brought out the first art exhibits by famous black uh, artists. For instance, the first one that we did was with uh, Jake Lawrence, and we did his migration series. We kept it open for six weeks at the same studio where I did the jam sessions, and we had, uh, it was packed. When they said that we had to sign loyalty oath, and I refused to sign it, but the Communist Party was a part, of, it was a legitimate party in the in the uh, in the setup and I mean who am I to judge and to tell people what to do and what not to do it just didn't seem fair to me I'd been to New York and I came back and met Chris O'Brien who was then the chairman of Actors Equity on the West Coast and we got on the same train he was on the train and I got on the train we became better friends on that ride. And when I was asked to sign, sent to sign the loyalty oath, Chris says, that's all right, Francis, I'll write a letter for you. He was a lawyer. And uh, he did, he wrote a very good letter. But at two o'clock in the morning, I awakened and said, I don't need anyone to write for me. And I certainly don't need a white man to write for me on whether or not I should sign this uh, loyalty oath. So I got up at two in the morning and wrote, and wrote till it was almost time for that meeting that morning, and wrote a, a whole, uh, I think, a very good letter. I remember one quote I made in it. This is interesting as I put it together. I, I said um, how they were ignoring the great talent about all the ethnic people in Hollywood. When I read this to the TVA committee, the Television Authority committee, everyone was in tears. I'd like to say that I'm an actor activist, and I have to be. And I think every artist has to be. As Langston Hughes once said, the moon, the stars, the trees are beautiful, and the flowers. But at this point in our history, we have to say a little more.